What is up, you guys? I am not Marcy, as you guys can tell, but she is out of the country, so she asked me, Erica from Artist Till Death, to hack into her channel, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so I did one of these, ta-da, on my channel, Artist Till Death, and I'm going to do another one for you guys. I am here with Jeffrey, he looks like this, What's up? And, um, yeah, I want to do a pink one. I'm going to do all the alcohol inks on it, and then Jeff's going to come in and do the octopus part. So we're going to walk through both of those things for you guys, hopefully show you how to do some of it. Also, you'll meet my boys. They're right here. Bowie. Bowie! And Cujo. So, yeah. So let's get this party get turned see, around. Do not get to see that. She has 230 subscribers. 230,000. I know. She has about a billion subscribers because she's amazing. So here we go. Let me get this set up over here. It should come up right now. Oh, okay. I see you, bud. That was Bowie. Chiming in. You see it? Mm -hmm. right okay, you guys. So, I know that Marcy does a lot of mixed media things on her channel. That is awesome. I don't know that she does much alcohol ink, so I wanted to introduce you guys to that if you don't already do it. I know a lot of my fam, which is the Artist Till Death subscribers, are also subscribers of Marcy's. So, hope to see a lot of fam in here. Hope to make new fam. Hi, Bowie. I know. So today I'm going to use a lot of pinks. I'm not sure what color this is because I have accidentally inked over the shade, but it is by Ranger. This one is Wild Plum, Pink Sherbert. I'm confused. Fuchsia. <laughs> Sorry. I thought this was MMG, MMG's channel. It is, but Artistic she can't make it today. Karen. Oh, Hi, goodness. Karen. Where's Marcy? Heather, we are taking over her channel tonight because she is out of the country. I hope you stay tuned. If not, it's cool. I get it. I'm here to show y'all something different. Sometimes us creators on YouTube will hack each other's channels to give each other a break. And that is what's happening today. So, first thing I always do is drench my board. This is a, um, a cradle board that I prepped with spray gesso. Looks like this. And Thank sanded it down with 220 and 400 grit sandpaper. Does that be? Yes. So the artistically random says, ATD is a maze balls too. Oh, thanks. Try our best not to disappoint. So I do want to keep it dark in the center and then lighter on the outside edges. In theory, a lot of times with alcohol inks, it's, it's all theory until it actually happens. So this color is by Zig, it's light pink. It looks orange, like glow orange, but it lightens up. I'm also gonna add some gold by Ranger. Make sure if you use gold to so peanut butter does to give you a little fun visual. Are those they, resin tints? They're not, they are, whoops. They're alcohol ink. I decided to do alcohol ink for the channel, for Marcy's channel today because, um, I know she doesn't usually do alcohol inks, and since she is mixed media, I thought I would introduce a new media, medium. <laughs> if 
you guys stay for nothing else, stay to see my puppies at the end of the show. So I'm going to use my Wagner heat gun um, because usually it'll show me a display of how high um, the heat is that's coming out of it. And I can also change how hard it blows. That's what she said. Well, in theory, if I can get it on since I use it a lot. There we go. So right now I just have it at 650. What's up? It seems you logged out in another window. You must be logged in to update videos. What's the problem? Is it not? I don't get it. What's the problem? I still got it. I still got the life. And at least I can still see. I popped out the chat. Oh, make it smaller. I can't because it's still on the same thing here. That looks fun. Let me make this smaller. It's a little bit different on a yeah, on Mac. Really Do you have to see both screens? No. Okay. So. Hi, Joey. Sorry about that, you guys. Technical difficulties. So the gold really sinks, and so sometimes I just move it around with my hand just to get it manipulated well. And I always drench my alcohol ink boards with alcohol. I'm using Mountain Falls 91%. It looks like this is gonna be really light, B. Is this is that gonna yeah, be it's okay? Gonna look, it's gonna look awesome. Okay. Now that I think about it, I could use my transparent black spray paint. So what we're going to do for this is do an alcohol ink base to give our octopus tentacle or arm a background, something to just stand on top of, and then Jeff is going to add the octopus tentacle for me because he is crazy talented at all things realistic or cartoony or everything i'm definitely a big fan of his work as is marcy which is why she invited us to hang out on her channel today she's going to be coming down here i think in no maybe november to do a collaboration with us in studio we did one a long time ago maybe two years ago she came down to visit and it was awesome What am I missing on the live feed, B? Wow, they're just talking to themselves. So you were just practicing that and that, Jeff. Um, that was just kind of a random thing that I guess I wanted to do. Because I did one on a, on a little clutch, and I kind of wanted to do it bigger and in, in black with gold. Hello, Joe's Creative Art. Hello, Doris. A lot of fam in here today. So I know a lot of people think they have to do alcohol ink on like UPO paper or photo paper, but that is not the case. I've gotten to where it's easier for me to do it on our boards than it is for me to um, try to do some artwork on a piece of UPO paper and then figure out how to mount it. So sick. It's easier for me to just do it how I want it on the board and then go from there.
Rosanna, Rosanne Johnson, what's in the bottle you poured onto the work? So that's just where I, I hold my alcohol ink. Initially, I'll pour it out of this onto the board just because I'm just dumping it. But when I have to be like kind of more precise about where I put it, I use this. And this is just a ketchup bottle that has the same alcohol in it that I used in the beginning. So right now I'm just pushing all the excess off of the piece because I don't want too many harsh lines like these, even though I really like these folds. It looks like folds of like uh, silk or satin. It's also okay to take like a paper towel and like dab some of the excess off. Judy's in the house. Judy! Y'all, my fairy art mother just showed up. I used to be really bad at alcohol inks until I realized that the key is to use a lot of alcohol. The more fluid you make your colors, the softer it'll be. And for me, like the easier it is to control. You can't, <laughs> it will dry like that if I just left it alone. It would really dry like that? Mm -hmm. Because that's, so that's how alcohol ink works. Wherever the color is when the oh. alcohol evaporates, that's where the color is going to be deposited. And if we had time, I would just leave it like that. However, you don't. Tara Wilson said, that would look good on a shirt or a bag. So I'm going to turn up the heat on my heat gun to 750, just to show you guys the difference. The hotter you blow your heat, the quicker the alcohol is going to evaporate. So you can really see that it's faster as I push it along this way. I love heating it really quickly so that it kind of disperses and makes these, like, it reminds me of hibiscus petals. Whitney Goodrich here from Utah. What's up? We'll be in Salt Lake City. Maybe. Well, we're looking for a space <laughs> to teach a class right now. We got a couple people on it. So the idea for this piece right now is just to create a nice background for Jeff to paint the octopus tentacle. If this was gonna be just the artwork, I would have a problem with this being so separated. But since it's ultimately just gonna be a colorful background, I'm not too concerned with that separation. Catherine says, I came in way late. Are you using wood and what will you finish product be? And what will your finish product be? So I am pouring on a cradle board that we have on our website, artistilldeath.com. I prepped it with spray gesso and a 220 and a 400 grit sandpaper. I do that process uh, three times to make sure that the surface is as smooth as possible. And then it should be good to go. As you can see, the ink doesn't really soak in very quickly, which is what you want in a surface for your alcohol ink. You want it to really glide across the surface of whatever it is you're putting your alcohol inks on. Whitney, we, uh... If we do do a, a class in Salt Lake City, we would put it on our website 
Um, like she said, we're looking for a venue, um, something that can hold up to at least 15 people uh, and that we can rent for two days, mainly a Friday, Saturday or a Sunday or Saturday, Sunday. Um, and, and if we do get that and we lock that date in, we'll, uh, we'll definitely let everyone know. So here's our background piece. And to show whoever just came into the room what we're doing today, we're doing another version of this piece that we did on our channel, Artist Till Death, the other day. So I just did it exactly the same as I just did, but I'm gonna have to um, seal this in just like I did with this piece. You wanna spray your alcohol inks with something that will both protect your painting from UV as well as protect it from, let's say, resin. Um, if you're gonna coat this in resin, you need to seal it in. Otherwise, the resin, while it's heating up and activating, it'll kind of um, blur and fade these lines a little bit. So what we use is somewhere. Here we go. We use UV archival varnish. It looks like this. Make sure to get the matte kind because it has no alcohol in it. If you get matte or satin, you're fine, but semi-gloss and above, you're gonna have issues. If you spray it, it's, you're gonna see little dimples and things because it's alcohol-based. So when you spray anything, be in a well-ventilated room, away from open flames, in case you decide to art with, you know, mood lighting, candles, or whatever, don't do that. So shake it really well to build up pressure and to incorporate everything that's in this can. You're gonna to wanna to give yourself a really nice thick layer. One should do the trick. Thanks for everybody for putting our website out there. I appreciate that. This also brings out the deep tones in your piece. Now, it doesn't take long for this to dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a heat gun just to speed up the process. You can find these Wagner heat guns on our Amazon page under our video links. I can ask Marcy to also add this under hers um, if you guys are interested. They don't pay me to review their products, but they did send me this one for free to try out and I'm definitely digging it. We have like three different heat gun brands in the house, uh, but this is the one I prefer for alcohol inks because it doesn't push that much air. It's softer, but it does allow me to really um, adjust the temperature from cool up to like 800 or something like that degrees. I'm pretty sure that's like- more than that. It goes up pretty high. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And the, and the fan, you can set the fan at very low speed to uh, medium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? So this concludes my base layer part of this show. Jeff's going to come in and do an amazing well we'll see for you guys. we'll see we'll okay a possibly amazing tentacle. we'll see let's get all this alcohol out the way all right tag your it <laughs> all right so i'm gonna put this a little bit more of an angle. Hopefully that doesn't.
doesn't distort you guys as what you can see there. Hey y'all! Doesn't look like it. No, it's good. So, um, I'm not a fan of uh, drawing, like sketching it out with a pencil or or something because when something is it's more uh, it's more of a shape than it's hard to explain. I would rather spray paint this so so it's it's more of a thicker base, and that way you, you could get a better idea of uh, how much you've put down rather than a pencil. And there's a little pencil; it doesn't look right, and blah blah blah. So I'm gonna use spray paint, and I normally don't like this spray paint, but I think they've improved it. It's Sugar Professional Artist Acrylic from Iron Lac, and I believe they are out of, I want to say, Germany maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe you guys know. You're not say. You're not say. But, and I have a, 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 spray, a spray paint cap on here. Uh, normally, I believe it's called a German Thin or a yellow cap. We call it on our website, we call it the Klaus Thin because it, it could spray a very thin line um, and it's very low pressure, so not a lot of paint comes out. Let me just kind of show you what, what that means. What? I think Bowie's pouting. Yeah, just want to show you guys. Yeah. And Palm just staring at the corner. Bowie, what are you doing? Come here. Y'all, this is Bowie. Hold on, I'm getting some paper. Sorry. This is Bowie. We need to spray it a little bit of spray. <laughs> Do this anyways. So, I'll show you what this does, the spray paint cap. Like I said, it's very uh, control. I mean, you can just kind of tell by these dots I'm putting down that uh, this cap, and I'm pretty sure this is a kind of a low pressure can. They do make uh, cans with high pressure that a lot of paint comes out low pressure, very little, and this cap really helps that as well. Um, but I do like to start if I'm going to be painting something with some lines, with some, where I barely have to push it. Who's doing better? Thank you, Tara. What's up, sweaty drips? Ready drifts. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. If you barely just push this, you get used to that, you can get a nice thin little dot there. So. Alright, and like I said, I just kind of wanted to get my hand used to spraying this real quick. I do like to practice. Get used to it. Alright, so. I kind of ghost draw it out first to kind of get an idea of where to start and where to stop. I wouldn't be able to do that without a pencil and See, like that's why, or because erasers. when you when you're doing something like this, I don't like to use pencil because you go out and you come back in and you're, you're sketching. You can't erase that up there. If you erase that, you you might mess with this and then it looks really bad and you don't want to leave a pencil in there, a pencil mark, so what I'll do is I'll put the first, it'll be almost like a, a sketch kind of thing down, but I want to kind of leave this transparent through the center there.
I'm going to do this whole thing until I'm going to put these hard, these a little bit more toned in tentacle suckers. Come back in here with a uh, a pen and kind of uh, sorry I'm not talking. It's hard for me to talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> and give some detail um, with a black with a black pen, and then I'm gonna come back in probably with a gold or a purple, maybe both, and kind of give it a little bit more detail. Maybe I'll just use the uh That's not. <laughs> Easy, Bowie. So we sealed the alcohol ink in with UV archival spray, the matte version. And thanks for sticking around if you guys are loyal to Mixed Media Girl. Um, I know this is probably a little different, a little Wrong boring. One. But on, uh, on our channel, Artists Till Death, we, uh, we do a little bit of everything. We, we do a lot of resin work, a lot of alcohol ink, but we kind of give a wide range of knowledge I guess you could say or experience or experimenting with uh, different mediums textures airbrush spray paint paintbrush glitter crystals a little bit of everything so thanks for sticking around I kind of feel like if you don't incorporate a whole bunch of different styles into your work then at some point, it can become stale to you as an artist. Um, at least that's what I've found. So I think a good remedy for that is to always be learning and always be expanding your knowledge. And also this way you can um, create maybe something new because you learned something in ceramics that you were able to incorporate into resin. I know that I do ceramics and I'm going to be um, incorporating some clay into my resin work coming up. This is a piece that I just got finished with. Love it. And so I'm going to see about how to um, get my resin on with it, you know? So I got uh, that is a heat gun. Got some Posca pins here. Thank you, Michelle. These are a lot of fun. Diane says, unlike dogs, octopus don't make good pets. They're so clingy. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Hi, boys. Hi, pretty boys. All right, I'm gonna make this very loose. I'm not trying to exact it. I'm just kind of getting a idea. Bowie is now taller than Kugo. Thanks, J. 
go. Thanks, y'all. So, Whitney, I am not mixed media girl, but I did go to school for ceramics. That doesn't really relate to what we do with anything on our channel. I only have like two ceramic videos. Um, I'm not sure if Marcy went to school for art. I feel like she did. Michelle said, y'all were in my recommended section. The kitchen counter y'all did was so awesome. Thank you. We've done like six or seven countertops and like 10 or 12 tabletops. We have loved every one of them. When he says, OMG, you're the countertop girl. That video is so awesome. I accept, Whitney. Thank you so much. Right, Diane, I agree. So what's up, B? What you doing? Just outlining your, what are those? Mm, someone hit me with a fun fact. Are they suckers? The little things. This is looking a lot more. I like how that line on the painting almost looks like the back of the tentacle, that pink part. Hmm. This is not going to be a tabletop. It's going to be just a piece of wall art, but we could do it on a tabletop. Absolutely. It would be a good Lazy Susan as well. Brooke says, I'm new to you guys. So happy to know you now. I love octopi. Is that the plural of octopus? So, I found out the other day that you could say octopi or octopuses. That was a random fun fact that we got on our channel from... Someone. Octopodes, is that for real, Vinny? <laughs> I could see somebody just giving us all kinds of hell, just like making stuff. Up. I know. Someone's going to be like, they travel in packs of only seven. And um, are called a pack of unicorns. They Funny are fact. unikai. Yeah. It's plural. With eight horns amongst them. Because of that. A pack of seven can only have eight horns. Because octo means <laughs> not seven with octopuses. Suction cups. That makes sense. What did I say? Suckers? No. I don't know. Suckies. So sucky. That's what they do. They're just sucky. Hi, how do you make these? Well, 
That's what this video is about, is how we make ours. Sucker cups. That's probably, that sounds like something I would say. Octopodes. They probably said octopods, and I just can't read. Took about 20 of my paintings to our Christmas in July family get together, and my family grabbed them up faster than a palm with a cookie. Here's the thing. I understand that because I have two palms. New chair? No, I need it to be up. It's just, it's starting to get to my back, but I'll be all right. Would this chair help? Um, no, because I think it might be too low. I like your racer stance. All right, so I want to make it more deliberate, not so sketchy. I didn't want to like that yesterday. I always want a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Diane. Okay, Cujo, just breathe. You guys hear that in the background? Cujo has a heart condition. My little white palm, but he'll be fine. Two palms too? I'll show you guys my two palms at the end of this um, feed. The white is bringing it to life. <laughs> I wish I could say this was white, y'all, but it is not. So that's actually gold? It looks white in the reflection. Yeah. This is what this is. Lower. Oops. It is a metallic gold paint pen from Pentouch. Large nib. Octopodes is honestly a real plural for octopus. It means eight footed. <gasps> that makes sense. We have a wiener named Macaroni. That's a cute name. Yeah, the way the light hits it definitely makes it look white. Be. Well, Do you I'm ever sorry get... I'm not talking. If That's you okay. guys are wanting me to talk, it's hard for me to talk and draw here. here. Do you ever get confused about how those tentacles flip and twirl around itself? Um, if I if I know how it's going, this is probably a little wrong. <laughs> But, uh, because I think because I put, yeah, these should be facing the other way, but this is, I think you guys understand, this is more of a, not so literal. Good job. Doris, I would just wipe it off with, like, an alcohol rag.
So Michelle, um, Jeff and I are actually from Artist Till Death channel and Marcy came up and did an acrylic pour with me and it actually was one of the few that I liked <laughs> that I've ever done. Um, we usually do resin on our channel, but we also do a lot of alcohol inks and Jeff does like photorealism airbrush portraits as well. Sweaty drips. We love um, octopodes, pie, po pie, as well. Um, that the cough was my palm Cujo. He has um, a heart condition, and when he gets excited, he coughs. But he's taking a lot of meds. It's almost his dinner time, so he's getting um, getting really hyped. Um, it wouldn't hurt to spray seal it first, Doris. <gasps> Shh, Bowie. Bowie's getting upset because I'm holding his friend. Bowie, easy, easy. Really nice. Um, thank you. He's not getting worse. So, that's a good, that's a good thing. Hello. It should be fine, Doris. I don't I don't see it giving you an issue. What up, Rod Line? He said, damn, Jeff got super mad skills. You knew that. Diane, that's so funny. She says, I free feed my palm star food. Thing is, both of my boys are uh, free range Pomeranians. They have food available all the time. Hey, boys. Not while we're live, okay? Come here. And we don't kennel them, so they're, we call them free range Pomeranians. Brooke says, that's looking killer. I'm saving a big blank wall to go all wild on in Vegas. What? What is up, Nardy Artisan? Bronson's in the house. What's up, Bronson? <clears throat> so, Tara, it just takes a little practice to um, talk and art at the same time. I apologize, you guys. I'm... And then, plus, I don't want to talk while she's reading comments and answering questions and stuff, so. That's, uh, that's a lot of the reason why I don't like to talk. Sugar. I know it. A lot of times I sound like I'm rambling. I've had <laughs> I've had people comment like, "Why are you blathering?" But I feel like blathering is better than <laughs> just dead air time. That's just my opinion, yeah. Okay. Okay. I know it. And then I have like little that. That looks Bowie over here. Chatterbox as well. Stop chewing on your brother. That's probably if I ever like do a biography, it's gonna be titled Stop Chewing on Your Brother. And other things I never thought I'd say. Night Joe. Thanks, Tara. You always do so great, Doris. Bowie, stop. That's what I love about, about like drawing or painting an octopus because you can, as you get towards the smaller parts of it, I don't think it necessarily has to be exact as long as you put some kind of 
curly Q or more of these little suckers in there, it just gives it a little bit more character, I, I think. Like, mm -hmm. I think it just makes it a little bit more uh, just fun, interesting. I do. I, uh... What's up, JJ? I love doing this. See? I think Aqua might look better than purple on that one. Yeah, I think so too. Here you go. What up, one song? I mean, cat. Welcome. Sherry says, I finally get to catch a live feed and it's on Marcy's page and not ATD. But what's up, y'all? <laughs> as long as you're here, makes me happy. Bowie. <laughs> <Billy>. <laughs> So, B, you chose Aqua to outline the tentacle, kind of like in, are you going to do drips like in the other one? Yeah. <laughs> Karen says, E, I have a question. I can't get cells on my work. I get a few small ones, but that's it. My stone goat base tent is pretty old, about nine months. Could it be the base tent isn't working? Um, you know, I, I want to say that the base tent doesn't really have a shelf life. As long as it's fluid, it should work. Make sure you mix it up really well. And the super key is to make sure that your base tent is under your other colors. You don't use too much heat. That's why I usually do swipes when I use it. And the other thing is you have to use minimum amount of paint, like just enough to make it opaque. I'll do a video on like best uses for that kind of paint for you guys. <laughs> Boys. What's that oh, elemental boy. design? Let me plug this in. All right, so let's do some drips. Right, I wonder if those people across the way ever wonder, like, what the heck do those people do over there? We have an awesome office right across the way from us. Like all day, somebody's in all of those rooms in there. All those windows are full of people. Yeah, I like this one a lot, too. What up, Kim? Thank you, Chrissy. So, who else here from ATD? No worries, JJ. Normally I do this freehand, but I don't like doing it with this gold paint pan because it has to be really fluid, like with the movement, where you'll get like sketch lines. And I hate that. That is fun right there. <clears throat> do you want the chair be? Mm -hmm. Oh, I 
know your fam, girl. I, I don't know why sometimes it doesn't send out notices. I've sent um, emails to YouTube to try to figure out what the deal is. I'll, apparently, you can unsubscribe, resubscribe, and hit the bell again, and it'll like reactivate your notifications. So, Michelle, I am not Marcy, who runs Mixed Media Girls' channel. Our channel is um, Artists Till Death. I miss Galigan. Oh, you don't get um, Marcy's live notifications either? I'll be fine, but I'm, I'm moving anyway. So. Okay. Looks like a lot of fam tuning in. Makes me happy. Okay. Thanks, Miss Parsley. She said that is absolutely wonderful. I have to agree. Kind of wish I was recording it for our channel too, but we'll just let Marcy have this one. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, we call Artist Till Death ATD for short. Kim, she's doing well. Thank you for asking. She is on the Vista cruise ship right now. She came through to drop off the puppies and head down to um, get on a cruise ship. Yeah. The thing is, Doris, we're over at... Um, like our alcohol ink area instead. I can't, I don't know how this thing is running with all that resin in there. Wagner, we're gonna need another heat gun. <laughs> right. Um, so Doris, I'm not at my OBS computer area, I'm at my central. It's hard for me to say I'm at my other studio space, but like we have three different like spots where we paint the resin, the alcohol ink and spray paint, and then just airbrush area. This is the only one I don't have OBS set up. I didn't think Jeff used paper last night, did he? Um, he had um, a reference off to the side. Paper what? I don't know. Probably for the lines. Oh, no, he did. I don't think he did last night either. Thanks, Michelle. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Sherry says, loving the current Octopi themes. Jennifer said, that's amazing. Thank you. Doris, you're welcome to come over and paint in our studio anytime. Thank you, Miss Random. Kim, you're also welcome to come whenever. And sleep in the room with all the colors. I said that the other day. Sure, but you're going to end up walking around with like Walmart feet like mine. The room with all the colors has spray paint all over the floor. No, oh, she's talking about that one in there. Oh, well then yes. Looks like its tentacles are dripping from emerging from the water. Agreed. Carolyn says, Jeff, another masterpiece. Well done. Thank you. That dude must be a tattoo artist. I am not. 
He's done four tattoos ever, but he is definitely, he would never call himself a tattoo artist. No, I don't, I'm not a tattoo artist. Um, I, uh, I respect tattooing way too much to even try to learn how to do it in this day and age, especially how busy we are. I understand what it takes to become a tattoo artist. So, I don't have the patience or time to stop and just learn how to become a tattoo artist. But I do know a lot of tattoo artists and I do get a lot of inspiration from them. Christina said, no time for a new career, Jeff. Um, they, that one he's using right now is a Posca pen. We just got our official invite to speak at the 2020 Artisan Summit. something to say. You know last time we caught something to say the day of. As we were speaking. Right? Sorry about that message sound. That was our invite. Um, Marcy was also copied in that message, so she will be there as well. And I believe Bronson will also be invited. Uh, Rhonda. Mm -hmm. Invited. I'm gonna mute that because it was a group chat of 18 people. Well, if you do that, it, it might shut off. Okay. You guys may just have to listen to that little card flip. Yes, the official dates are April 7th and 8th, 2020. Early birthday. <laughs> at artisansummit.com I will put the link down below I really like this one I'm loving it B I'm loving it yes it will be in Vegas again I believe it will also be at the same hotel What you getting, B? Oh, easy bow. I hope all of you come out and see how the summit is. We had a blasty blast last year. It was amazing. Last year, this year. This past one. <laughs> this I just wanted to see what this will look like. It is Artisan Summit 2.0. Thank you, AR. Don says this looks amazing. Don, I hope you come back this year. It will be in Vegas. What, what did we say it was? The wind start? No. No. The Westgate. It will be at the Westgate. Hi, Janelle. Sorry we are not Marcy, but I'm glad you tuned in. Jesus, Erica, can you stone one of the octopus? I'm sure I can. That would look pretty amazing. Awesome artwork, absolutely love it. What type of pens are being used? So the gold was a pen touch metallic gold paint pen, and the aqua color is Aqua by Posca. Is he scratching paint away for the shadowing type effect? 
No, I'm just, uh, I'm using this, it's like a really 20% French gray. It's just a Prismacolor pencil. I was just seeing what it would look like if I just kind of added those little marks there. Like the little see-through kind of uh, transparent highlight. Um, so I'm just kind of seeing if this looks right. It kind of does. Like I'm kind of digging it. That's why I'm, I keep doing it. <laughs> I don't know that relief would work on this, like scratching paint away. Um, That's what I normally do with with uh, airbrush. I don't think it would have worked with spray paint and alcohol inks on this kind of board. I actually think it might a little if you did it if you only did it a couple times. Mm -hmm. it, it might work because there's white underneath, but you would have to be very very careful with that. Because if you did it too much, you would go down to that new color that the board is. Yeah, you don't want that. JJ says, I'm going to make it a week next year. Three days is not enough. We're going to do that too. Well, five days anyways. Don says, Charles and I are planning on it. So excited to see you and Jeff on stage again. Well, this year I hope I don't cry like, you know, as one does when they're on stage. Mm -hmm. I did Sorry teach Kim how to sound, play guys. I'm sure Claire will be there. Kim will be there. Don will be there. JJ will be there. Marcy, I'm sure, will be there. Claire says, cried so much. Embarrassing, I know. Christine, I really hope you can make it. It'd be nice to meet you in person. Do you ever work with pastels? Um, yeah, I like to work with chalk. Pastels, uh, chalk pastels, whatever I guess you, uh, on chalkboards. Um, I've done a couple pieces on cardboard and one or two on a canvas, but uh, it doesn't stick that well to canvas. So, I think this is fun. Judy said she's going to be there this year. I think she's saying she's going to go to the summit, not she's going right now. Y'all. I'm gonna take you guys in for a better view of what Jeff is doing. But I'm gonna move super slow so it doesn't pixelate on you. So that sound is Jeff's um, messages coming through. We're in a group message with um, Stonecoats presenters. And if I could figure out how to turn it off, I would, but I don't want it to kill the feed, so sorry about that, y'all. That's fun. Give it a little more pop, if you would. It almost looks like it is scratching off in that pink area because it looks slightly pink. JJ said, love it. Yeah, it's, it's just pencil. Yeah, I don't want to mess with it anymore. I don't know. So hold both up. I want to see what everybody thinks. What do you think, y'all? Pink or blue? Pink or blue? It's like magenta or teal. Don't get technical. You gonna connect them? That would be fun. 
It looks like that Kanye shrug. That, mm. Octo shrug. So we are going to be doing a live auction on Friday and if that one's purchased, but if this one doesn't get purchased before then it will be available. We bought that one for sure. Mm, should be getting a deposit for today. Tiffany Mueller, I believe. So this one will be available. Maybe I'll do another one. I want to show you guys the boys. Hi, Cujo. This is my delicate flower with a heart condition. He is 11, and he is my precious little boy. I've had him for his whole life. Bowie, Bowie beans. <gasps> Hi, Buzz. A treat. This is my Bowie blue eye. Bowie. <laughs> okay, babe. Those people are like, they love the babies. They love the babies. Anyways, you guys, we got to get out of here and make some dinner. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Check out our channel. It is Artist Till Death. I left it a couple times in the comments, but I will also leave it down in the description box below this video. Um, we always tell people to check us out on our other social media things but you can find all that on our channel um those are pomeranians my little boys um on our channel you can see videos like these like that some bubble rings um so yeah thank you ar for putting our our link up yeah, make sure that you much. are um be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. And we will see you guys on our channel, Artist Till Death, or also next time um, Marcy asks us to hack into her channel. Hope you enjoyed it or learned something or were inspired to do something new. Anyways, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. I said bye. <laughs>